someday we are going to stand before Jesus whether you like it or not when this life folds like a curtain you and I will stand except that I will not stand as a preacher the name apostle will not be called that day the name koinonia will not be called that day you will stand as an individual responsible for your use of the gift of life that has been given unto you that is the day when the pride of many will fail them that is the day when the motives that lead men will be revealed that is the day when the purity of your service and the basis of your pursuit will be tested hear me that day we will stand like the man who was given five talent and the other two and the last one the bible says he demanded accountability from them and for the first two they received very warm commendations well done thou good and faithful servant you have been faithful in little i will make you a ruler of many one of the synoptic accounts will say enter thou into the joy of the lord i pray that you do not become like the one person he stood there in anger full of bitterness and offense did not know that he also had a talent even though his own was one but he was going to be ranked and assessed based on his use of that one I know you are a hard man he said you like to reap where you did not sow and so I thought instead of throwing it I buried it in the ground here is your talent and he said you are a wicked and unprofitable servant if you knew that I was a hard man why did you not keep it at the bank so that at least it will have some interest at my coming and he says to be cast into eternal damnation where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth I have made a commitment with my life that in life and in death I will spend my life pursuing the knowledge of God growing my love for Jesus genuinely beyond ministry and spending my life my days my time my skill my resources and everything he's given me as an advantage to serve his purposes for as long as I live. I'm praying that as you step out of this place tonight, it will not be that you just came to church and enjoyed an intelligently presented sermon by a man of God, but that you leave with an imprint of this call. See it as a shofar that has been blown to your spirit. See it as a clarion call that God is calling you to be part of this glorious army and to be serious when you open up your heart to be part of it. Knowing Jesus, loving Jesus, serving Jesus, your knowledge of him, your loving him, and your serving him in its entirety. These are the end time requirements to hosting and being drenched in the latter rain.